All of my research, and I would say a good deal of the research that's done in this OSU robotics group, is really focused on helping humans or augmenting human capabilities. The program's quite new, it's been going for about four years. We just had our fourth set of students come in. Uh, we have 12 faculty members and about 70 graduate students here, which is relatively big for a robotics program in the US. Uh, we've got a, a, a whole range of projects going on, so everything from um, the mathematics behind robotics to the mechanical design of how you actually build them, all the way up to how do robots interact with uh, humans, how do, how do they interact with people when you put them out into the real world. What makes us unique, I think, has a lot to do with our collaborative nature. Uh, you've seen the lab, and we have about 12 different research pieces going on here without any walls or curtains. It's all in one space. Robotics and AI, these are not topics that are going to be solved by one person. You need the entire community working on different parts of the problem to solve it. The environment that we create here and the interpersonal relationships and the ability to really do interesting work across boundaries is really a key component of what we have in this laboratory and what really makes this environment unique. What makes me proudest about the students, I think it's just the, 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 the attitude that if you don't know something, you just roll up your sleeves and do it. Um, and I don't know if that's a West Coast thing or a Northwest thing or an Oregon thing, but that very practical viewpoint is something that is, you don't find in every university. A lot of our students are uh, now in, in leadership positions in, uh, across the country. We have students in uh, Google, at Amazon, at a university, at a lot of uh, national labs, uh, the Navy, NASA. So I think that we have students that are, who are the leaders of this uh, robotics uh, wave at key places in the country. That makes me very proud as well.